we have discussed some of the important goals which needed to execute our Maven project, right? Now it's time to build our application. Let's go and see what and all goals we can execute as part of this. Okay. So clean lifecycle. So far we haven't run this application. So there is no point of executing the clean. Let it be. Next thing is in default phase we can execute any of these goals. We can go with the compile. Nothing but we are compiling the code or else even we can go with the validate. Let's go with the validate and we'll see what does it do. So I'm just copying this goal to avoid the typo validate and run it whenever we are running what does it do it is going to create the console file and you can see the it has been executed and build is successful it just scan and uh, this is the project it is going to scan and it has the all the information nothing but this is the package name and we are going to create a jar out of it okay how does it identify we are going to talk about that in a while and there is some warning we can just ignore because it could be due to version or i have installed on my laptop Okay, which means that validate phase is successfully completed or it's fine to execute our application. Now let's run this project again. This time we are going to compile it. So run as and uh, if I choose this option again, it is going to execute the previous goal. I don't want to execute the same goal again. I want to change my goal. In that case, you can go with the Maven build in three dots. Now let's execute the goal with the compile before executing with the compilation. Let's go to our directory where we have created this project and we'll see what changes we can observe over there. So I'm just going to open this that is uh, Velaxi user. So this is the directory. I'm just going to minimize it. So you can see here this is the first demo project and if I open here this is the content what is there over here. And there is a target directory. This is where all our class or test cases compiled one. Nothing but what is the outcome of our app.java or app test.java is stored over here. Okay. Anyway, by default, what happens in the Eclipse, it is automatically compile the code and it stores the information. That is the reason you can see the app test.class file is there already. Okay. But usually it should not be there. Okay this target directory get updated only once we compile the code. Okay. So now what I will do, I'm going to compile this code and we can see the this date get updated. Okay. Let me open it again and let me show you the date and the time. So it is showing it as a 85 and it should get updated once we compile our code. So let's go back to our goals again. So this time I'm taking the compile goal and go back to our Eclipse and give the compile goal and run it and this time the compilation should be successful you can see here it's just successfully completed and if i go to target directory i could able to see the content but anyway i can go to the explorer and you can see this time target directory have all the data okay these classes are uh, updated i hope i will go inside to the class file you can see nine o'clock it has been updated that is the current time and if I go back to again my target directory apart from this few other directories also got created even test cases also got created. This is how we can compile the content. Now again we are going to use the one more goal that is test compile. So now we are going to execute the test compile. So test compile is I'm just copying this one and go back to our Eclipse and go to project run and maven goals and this time i am going to do the test compile whenever i do test compile it going to validate it compile it and test it nothing but previous all goals should get executed okay let's run this one and if you see this is build is successful you can see default test compile is done and if i go up i could able to see the compilation as well default resource yeah default compile so it compiled our code as well as it is also compiled our test compile Okay, both has done. Now let's see the another goal that is we are going to test our code. Whenever we do the test, it should compile the source code as well as the test cases. Then it do the test. Now again, I'm going back to our Eclipse. Right click on the project and go to Maven build and I'm going with the test. Okay, I'm going with the test. So we are testing the code and while testing it, it should do the compilation of the source code as well as the test cases then it will do the testing so you can see here test it is doing the testing these are the test cases we have only one test case and that is successful that is the reason build is successful and if i scroll down 
you can see the default test compile it compiled the test cases as well as the source code as well okay so this is how it do and this is the build is successful and uh, total time how much time it took and uh, when it got finished all this information is displayed over here next we are going to execute the package goal and this time whenever we are doing we are going to use the clean life cycle as well why because we have the information which is stored in the previous builds and all this information keep on updating but i don't want to do sometimes what happen if we don't use the clean it is not going to take the latest code why because it thinks that okay i have the same files existing and it start compiling it so it's the best practice to use the clean then your default goal so i'm going to use the clean this time along with our package run as maven build clean along with our package goal okay so now what happens it is going to clean the previous build files and it creates the new files okay so if i go up you can see the goals whatever is executed earlier there was no execution of default clean but this time clean goal has been executed then compile test resources and test compile and test is successful then so it is doing the packaging and you can see here it created a building a jar file and the jar file is stored over here okay the, in this location the jar file has been stored but so far it couldn't able to create the jar file because we haven't used the package goal now we have used the package goal that is the reason it created the package out of it and you can see the package location that is target okay in the target directory it's created and if i go here and go to targets and you can see here it created the first demo project hyphen version of the package and this is the artifact id right so artifact id is used to while creating the outcome of our build okay so now package we have executed at last we can execute the install and deploy but now it doesn't make sense until we discuss about the local and remote repository we are going to execute this on the linux system at the time we can see okay so that's how we can use the goals while building our maven code that's all for this lecture see you in the next lecture